Here it goes, guys. Um, I'll probably be all over the place with this speech, okay? Um, this is a huge day, all right? This is a huge day for myself, for sure, for Carlos, for the school, okay? Um, today, all day, like, I, w I was driving around just, just thinking about so many different things. For me as an instructor, my goal always was to make my students better than me, have great students, um, and... <clears throat> Oh, here we go. <laughs> I know, I know. This is just, like I said, this is a huge day for me. I remember Carlos, so many different things came up, so many different memories. I remember Carlos looking across from me at, it was either here or at Matt's. I don't even recall. I remember you just broke up with your girlfriend. Where, where is Carlos? Get up there. 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 probably 16, 17 years old. And like I said, one memory was, uh, he, he was upset, he was he just broke up with his girlfriend, who's now his beautiful fiance, baby mama. Yeah! Yay. Um, I remember when I was teaching in College Point, Carlos came down as a blue belt. Um, there was this Russian guy that I always tell this story. And I remember watching Carlos roll with him and just beat the hell out of this guy. And I'm like, this kid had, definitely has potential for sure. He was a quiet kid, skinny kid, um, but I knew he had potential. I remember bringing him to uh, a seminar at Dracolinos. Now, we all know Carlos isn't the biggest driller in the world. He doesn't like to drill. And I remember making him drill the whole time. Okay, that's one memory. Um, I also remember I would always yell at Steven. All right, you guys know Steven. <laughs> Carlos would train with Steven and he would be drilling and they'd always be messing around. I'd always yell at Steven. But it was always Carlos just being a pain in the ass. <laughs> okay? And even after I knew it was Carlos, I would still yell at Steven because it's funny. <laughs> to yell at Steven. I remember going to California, to different trips, training trips, just great times. I mean, awesome times. Um, as an instructor, I couldn't ask for a better student, okay? Uh, for me, I give everything as an instructor, okay? Not just, and I try to be a good role model in life, too. I try to always be there for people. Um, the technique was there for Carlos. Like, I remember drilling X-Guard and Comac with Carlos. I remember so many different things. Um, and I always gave him the technique, and I tried to give him everything I had. You know, that's only half of it, though. The thing is this, I can show someone everything, but if they're not willing to put the work in, they're not going to be great, okay? Carl's put the work in. He deserves it. Carl's is a beast, okay? I remember when he first wanted to start competing again, right? I remember him competing, throwing up, coming back, competing again. I remember that. I remember working on standing in posture. I, just so many different things, almost like, I, like a father, like I am with my son. Like, I remember so many different things. Um, and... Him just coming up, correcting everything, and, and being such a beast on the mat now. You know what I mean? Like, such an awesome competitor. Uh, becoming a great instructor now. Like, I watch him teach sometimes, and he doesn't know. Like, this is all whatever. But I watch him teach, and, and I'm proud. You know what I mean? Really proud as an instructor. Some of the things, like, he'll teach the way I teach, which makes me really happy. Like, say this, repeat some of the things I said. Like, and uh, <clears throat> it makes me really proud. All right? Um, so I couldn't ask for anything more. Carlos is my first black belt, and I couldn't ask for a better first black belt, and I'll always be there for you as an instructor and watch you grow. You've been, I've seen you from a teenager to a man, now a father, awesome person, okay? <laughs>
Okay, because when you get your black belt, you have to make a speech. It's tradition. Okay, so go ahead, Carl. Holy shit. <laughs> um, first, let me start off by saying thank you to, to all you guys, all my training partners, um, now students. Uh, you know, without you guys, you guys are you know crazy bound on down. There'd be no you know people for us to teach to train with. So first, thank you guys. So. so I really want to, I want to thank, before I thank Joe, um, I want to thank uh, Steven. Steven's not here right now. Uh, He's on his way, I think. Is he? Okay. Yeah. But I, I want to thank Steven. Um, he really opened my eyes up to jiu-jitsu. Um, you know, if you know him back in the day, he was a, a overweight, long-haired, like, he looked like Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> you know, we were training in his basement. He mounted me, key locked me, and, and that's what, you know, started the whole jiu-jitsu thing. So... I do want to thank him whenever he, he comes in. Right. Uh, and then, of course, I want to thank Joey. Uh, you know, he gave me the opportunity to, to teach and train full time. You know, I was working, I was going to school, um, you know, I was doing it all. Uh, and then he seemed potential. He could have anyone else teach for him. And, and he gave me that opportunity. And I couldn't ask for a better life to live than I'm living right now. I, you know. I'm not rich or anything, but I feel rich. Like I, I um, you know, be with my friends. I get to hang out with my friends all day long. I get to train all day long. So, thank you, Joe. You give me that. Yeah. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna say like you know the whole big speech about jujitsu saved my life. You know that's what jujitsu does. Um, it saves life. You know, changes lives. But. Uh, if there's one, you know, one thing I can give back to you guys, one piece of advice is, you know, is always fight resistance and stay consistent in training. And when I say like resistance, I mean like any excuse you come up with, why not to train? Um, because the benefits of jiu-jitsu, it, it's endless, uh, physically and mentally. Uh, you know, physically, you get a nice body. <laughs> you learn to defend yourself, but, uh, but mentally, um, you know, just dealing with certain situations is, is totally different because of jiu-jitsu. You know, I'm a happier person. Everything is different because of jiu-jitsu. And, and people don't train, don't really understand that. But, um, you know, all you guys that train totally understand. And, um, you know, when Joey first opened up this place, I remember being, like, right in the middle. I had, like, five guys ahead of me. And uh, and I said, I was, like, I was cool with being his fifth or sixth black belt. You know, I was, like, oh, that would be, you know, top ten black belts under Joey. But um, I think that's why I stood out. Uh, I stayed consistent in training. You know, I made it a priority to train. It, work with my girlfriend, school, all that. I, I live 50 minutes away. I made it here every single day, and I, and I train, 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 train. So, I mean, if that's one thing I give to you guys, it's, it's just stay consistent in your training because there's so many benefits of living a, a, you know, a lifestyle of jiu-jitsu. So, that's it, guys. We have here. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Keep getting stronger, guys. Keep building. All right. Um, before we leave, again, thank you everybody for coming.